What's going on everybody and welcome back to Unbox Analysis. Today we are here to see if you can uh, look good on a budget with Timu. Now a lot of this doesn't meet my normal fashion, which may be a good thing. So let's get into it, let's check them out, let's see if any of this stuff is worth your money and if it's something you guys should look into or consider buying. So we're gonna start out with the shoes, we're gonna jump into them, I'm gonna put a pair of these on, I'm gonna wear them throughout the video and throughout the day, give you guys my opinion on these a bit later for comfort because that's the important part. First off, the design. I would definitely consider these a type of knockoff uh, Balenciaga. Again, not my kind of shoes, no surprise there. But quality wise, well, they, they feel really cheap. <laughs> they feel extremely cheap. Laces seem decent, but they might be comfortable. First impressions on them, they feel, they feel kind of like slippers and I feel taller now. Next up, we have a pair of outdoor type of hiking shoes. These ones here have the real skinny laces with a drawstring tightener on them. Honestly, the quality on these doesn't feel too bad. They are very flexible, which, you know, for hiking can be good and bad. Sometimes you want that more rigid support. Inside has a fairly thick foam pad underneath. And again, the quality feels halfway decent, although they're extremely flexible. I'll back, it just says, outdoor uh, is two words sounds about right again we'll give these some testing today too i'll let you guys know what i think about them more towards the end of the video want to actually just kind of wear them around a little bit see if they hurt the feet kind of feel what they can do i guess i've ordered a whole bunch of different pants and oddly enough they're all made of the exact same material now you can see they're all pretty much 92 percent polyester and eight percent spandex so so they're not really stretchy they're, they're pretty solid in their shape. You do have the stretchy cuffs at the bottom, stretchy waistband, built-in drawstring, and they look interesting. I don't know if they look good. This isn't the type of fashion I'm exactly up to date with, but I will say this, they're extremely comfortable to wear. They do a pretty good job at blocking the wind. If any of you guys saw some of my recent scooter videos from about a month ago, I've been already testing and wearing some of this clothing out and running it through the washer just to see how well it holds up. Surprisingly, they're all holding up to the wash really well, the other couple pairs I've been trying. But again, guys, if you're gonna buy these, these are not winter clothes. These aren't bad for the gym. Like I said, they're pretty comfortable, they're lightweight. And if it's the kind of fashion you guys are into, they have some pretty interesting looks. Now, there's a good chance this is a different language or this is an AI-generated slogan. Uh, Kerway's fashion on the Vleif Woni Loons I don't know, that could be a different language. Seems to be written in English, but it's not really words. I just find it very interesting that no matter who I ordered the clothes from, they all appeared to be made of almost the exact same fabric through and through for the pants anyways. But yeah, overall they're comfortable. They seem to hold up to washes. They do not hold up to damage. They do not protect you at all. If you're out riding a bike or a scooter, whatever, if you fall, you're gonna tear through these in half a second. So we're not gonna go too much further in depth on pants. They're not super exciting. I have no idea why I ordered so many pair. I think they came in like two or three in a single order. So, you know, it is what it is. Take it with a grain of salt. If you guys wanna order some pants from Timu, just understand that's gonna be the general quality. You know, it's not gonna be a high quality material. It does hold up surprisingly well to multiple washes, but you're getting what you pay for, for sure. Now coming into winter, one I was pretty excited to try out is the hoodie. Uh, first thing, it's not crazy thin. There's at least that. Uh, the last hoodie I tried out from Timu was $4, and it was well over a year ago, and it, it was horrible. It was so bad, guys. It was so bad. Oh, okay, this is a, this is a, whole, a whole jumpsuit. All right. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you this feels like extremely cheap material. So for being cheap, this thing is surprisingly comfortable. It fits really well. I'll throw the price and the size right up here. Again, I am six foot one, about 190 pounds, roughly, you know, medium build. Yeah, actually this, this feels pretty nice. This will probably end up getting worn. As a man, I hold limited knowledge on most things fashion. So let me know down below. Is this a good look? Maybe pair it with a really weird hat we're gonna talk about here in a little bit. Pants are made of the exact same material. Looks like they're all a single color with a little bit of a design on them. Again, they're, they're interesting, but they're made of this exact same material. So it looks like they're made with 100% polyester. Didn't see that coming, but apparently polyester is pretty cheap. 
and easy to manufacture. So that's probably why they're going this direction here. Makes sense. All right, next up in the fashion hall, we are gonna talk about this hat. Why, why a hat? Because this hat is no normal hat. It has Bluetooth and speakers built in to the bill. Very interesting. Um, surprisingly, not super uncomfortable. So let's go ahead and see if I compare to it and see how it sounds. Now, I do not expect this thing to sound good. <laughs> let's just let's just get that right out there. Power on. All right, it shows up as the BT-01. You can hear it say connected when it connects. Now, we'll put it in the uh, correct wearing fashion here. Okay, it doesn't sound good, all right? The, the clarity, the quality, it's not there, but it's a very interesting listening experience having the sound projected directly down in front of your face. Now, obvious downsides, guys. If you're wearing this in public, you're gonna be that guy. You're gonna be the one walking around, music just blaring, you might as well have a Bluetooth speaker strapped to your backpack. Nobody wants to be that guy, right? Unless you're at a party or in the right scene, but you're at home, you're working, you don't wanna have something blocking your ears, and you just want to listen. Say you want to listen to a YouTube video, podcast, whatever. You know, it's it's not horrible for the price. It's kind of an interesting idea. In my interest in finding the truth, I went deep undercover. I wore a disguise. I used a new email address to secret shop Linus Tech Tips Merch. But then I realized I was wasting my time because they have no idea who I am. So now, it's not very loud. It's definitely not very loud. Surprisingly comfortable hat, though. You know, fits pretty well. But it does work. And if you're just listening to a podcast, doing some work around the house, and you don't feel like having earbuds or headphones on, or listening to a Bluetooth speaker, and if you don't care about the quality, not bad. Kind of a gimmicky thing, might be a fun little gift for some people for the holidays. I was worried that the speakers in the front would make it super heavy on the head because it is, it is quite front heavy, but it's really not bad. I really don't feel the control box in the side. Here is the control box, by the way. You have a light for Bluetooth, you have play pause, and then you have volume up and down. But the volume up and down, if you look at my screen, it doesn't actually change the volume. It goes next. You have to hold it for volume. That makes sense. So yeah, music hat, kind of a cool idea. Just uh, don't expect much from the sound quality. I plan on doing a lot of uh, winter activities, including winter camping, and I thought this might be pretty nice to try out this hat from Timu for one of the future camping videos for Timu. We're gonna be doing some survival challenges with a limited number of Timu items. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to get subscribed. So inside of the hat, kind of more like a flex fit, except it's a one size fits all. There is no actual flex in this. Inside it's got a really nice soft material in it. And then you have the ear covers with some plastic clips there. So the cool thing about this in here is that on top of that, you also have a face cover. So if you're outside and it's super cold out and you just you just need that protection from that wind, you just reach over, snap this up, and you're good to go. Now, if you don't want that, you can unsnap it, pull it off, and just have some nice ear coverage. You know, surprisingly decent for the price. This is the suplex variant. I did see a couple different kind on here. Now, as far as it being a one-size-fits-all in the back here, you also have a nice drawstring to pull it tight. If you have a slightly smaller form factor for the hat, you know. But that's pretty cool. You guys will see this coming up in some future videos. I promise you that. This thing is warm. It's going to be pretty nice to use in the winter. Now with this Timu Challenge video we have coming up, again, we got winter coming up quick. I plan on doing some survival type videos, right? Some can we survive on five Timu items. I don't know if I'm going to include clothing in that, but if I do, that is why I ordered this next item. This is a $23 jacket from Timu. 23 bucks. Full jacket, hood, everything. And quality wise, you know what? It doesn't feel too bad. So here on the side, you do have some Velcro spots for some patches, you know, for those who like to decorate their own type of outfits. Then on the side, looks like you have a nice foam pouch here. So it'll fit, but it won't quite Velcro down, but it's actually kind of impressive. That slides in there at all. Then you have a nice little pocket right here. that the phone can't quite fit in, but it's nice to have a zip pocket. Then right here in the front, you have two Velcro pockets. 
And then a couple more right down on the base. So let's go ahead and try it on. Let's see how it feels. I'm not sure I'd recommend this one. Uh, you know, it does have some nice features like the drawstrings down here to try to keep the wind out. It does have other nice aspects like being able to cinch up the wrist section here to keep wind or snow out. Like I like a lot of the stuff about it. It's just not very comfortable. And I don't know how warm it'll actually be. But again, it's Timu, so if we do the Timu challenge video and that involves clothing, well, you guys will see this again. But right off the bat, my main thing, it's just not very comfortable and it feels very limiting on movement. Okay, on this one here, I have seen these things all over the place. You can see here it's a smartwatch, but if you look a little closer, it's a smartwatch that has built-in earbuds. I've been very curious to try these out to see like how realistically usable they actually are. Now, first thoughts on it, it's not nearly as thick as I expected. It's a little bit thicker, about 20% thicker than an S24 Ultra with a case on it. You know, it doesn't look too bad. Let's get this peel off of here. All right, so going around the actual watch, so you have a pretty nice little dial here that does pull out and push in. You have two waterproof covers here on the side for the actual earbuds. Check those out, tiny. Also included in the box, you do have this USB type A to custom charging component here. You can see right here, there are two little magnets on there and two prongs that is gonna magnetize to the back of the smartwatch like so. And you have an extremely in-depth owner's manual. I mean, this thing is massive. Check this thing out. That is quite the owner's manual. I'm sure there's a few different languages in there, but again, a lot of this Timo stuff, we get, we get like half a page and it's usually to the wrong products. All right, so I spent the last two hours trying out these shoes. Guys, they're horrible. If you see shoes like these, avoid. So as you can see here, every time you take a step, the heel hits first and your whole foot just comes down weird. Now, because of this weird separation up here in the front, as you can see there, the whole shoe just feels uncomfortable. It's very awkward to walk in. I get the idea, but poor execution. <laughs> Avoid these at all costs. You are, you are not gonna enjoy these ones. So back to the uh, smartwatch here. It actually has a pretty nice screen on it too. Fairly responsive, it's got like a little mini bar that pops out. Go over, you have your activity tab, your sleep tab, heart rate, blood pressure. You can attach obviously all the weather apps and stuff. So now let's get it connected to the phone. The main thing I wanna know is, do these earbuds sound any good? Okay, so it uses an app called DA Fit. As you can see right here, it instantly shows the watch. We're currently at 44%. So let's go ahead and get it connected. I'm not putting in any of this data because I don't plan on using this watch personally. Not much of a watch guy anymore. Okay, so they use two different Bluetooth signals. So I currently have the earbuds in now. They fit okay. They're somewhat comfortable, but now I'm gonna test out the audio on them and just see how good they are. Now they did connect nice and easy, no issues there. All right. <laughs> Okay, uh, once again, I'm going to repeat something I've said so many times. If you guys are looking for a cheap pair of earbuds, I have no idea how or why, but Timu just does it right. These little tiny earbuds that store inside of a smartwatch sound better than anything I've tested from Walmart or Five Below for under $40. <laughs> It's, it's genuinely impressive. Like they sound good. Do they have the most bass in the world? No, but do they have enough to enjoy what you're listening to? Absolutely. They're super crisp and very clear, especially for the price. I mean, it, it's a whole smartwatch with earbuds that fit right inside for the price. You know, if you're a watch person and you wear a smartwatch, this is not a bad rendition to go with. The screen itself is pretty responsive. Looks like it has a bit of a lower refresh right here. You can kind of see it there on camera just a little bit, but it looks good, it works good. It charges the earbuds in the case. You're never gonna accidentally forget your earbuds at home as long as you're wearing your watch. Um, this is a win. Watch and TWS earbuds, 100% a win. Like if that's something you're looking for, guys, we got Christmas coming up. This is a great gift for somebody. Like, <laughs> and for the price, I mean, a little hard to go wrong, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. It's not uncomfortable at all. 
It doesn't pinch. It doesn't grab any of the hair on my arm. Nothing like that. I'm impressed. That's awesome. I mean, so far the clothes, average. The first pair of shoes, horrible. The hat, while cool, it sounds really bad. But the watch, watch is pretty solid. You can see here, it's got a couple of sensors on the bottom too. Honestly, super cool little watch, guys. This is this one's worth checking out. So, so far, we've done the jacket. It's, it's okay. We've done the hoodie, very comfortable. Feels cheap, very comfortable. The pants, all of the pants, I have worn a bunch of them. They're very comfortable. They're not very warm. They're, they're a similar material to windbreaker fabric, right? The hat. Super cool idea. I can definitely see its use case. Audio quality is not, not great. Volume level, not amazing, but not bad. Now, last but not least, we're gonna jump into the, uh, the male gift box is what they called it. This comes with a wallet, a pair of sunglasses, looks like some kind of vintage trimmer and a watch. Now, that said, I do own quite a few mid-level watches, you know? The two to $500 range. I used to be really into watches when I was younger, back when I was in the military. It was just kind of a fun little thing to collect. It didn't take up a lot of space. I also used to wear them a lot. Not so much anymore. Okay, that's unexpected. This strap is real leather. Really? It smells like real leather. It feels like real, I think this strap is real leather. I mean, the watch feels super light, but it's not, it doesn't feel as bad as I expected. It's got a really cool look to it too. Check this thing out. Let's go ahead and remove the little plastic clip on the side. Honestly, it's got a pretty solid click to it too. It's called the, the Kuhn watch. For being a super cheap gift box, I did not expect a leather band, a decent looking watch. Like, I really didn't expect actual leather. That's very surprising to me. All right, next up, let's check out the wallet. So this is the wallet I currently use. It's similar to a, a Ridge wallet, just some off-brand that's got a little bit of RFID protection, but I don't, I don't carry money in my wallet, so this isn't personally something I would use, but we'll check it out. Okay. Definitely not leather, 100% not leather. Feels, feels cheap, but for a cheap little gift box, I mean, doesn't look too bad. Like how cheap is this thing? Yeah, you can pull this apart if you wanted to, no question. Although I don't think in general wallets really have to take too much stress, although that sounds horrible. Okay, so watch, decent wallet. Eh, looks like we have ourselves a little keychain in here as well. Yep, not leather. This is definitely fake. Now, here's my thought on this one. Let's check this out. I might break it here, but okay. See, this would be a very bad keychain. I twisted that around like four times and it snapped right off. That was not hard to break. Don't use keychains like this because you're gonna lose your keys. Cool idea, but that's a fail. And now the sunglasses. They feel as cheap as you would expect. Trust me, they do. I mean, comfort wise, they're not bad. You know, you just need a little cheap pair of throwaways. Me personally, I really like the Heatways from Cletus McFarlane. They're kind of my go-tos nowadays, but you know, these aren't horrible. Got a bit of a tint on the back of them and a blue tint on the front. They feel very cheap though. I don't imagine these are gonna be any kind of scratch resistance. They are not polarized. I can tell you that right now, but not horrible. And then last but not least, we have ourselves a little vintage shaver. Okay, comes with a little Little jar of oil in there. Pretty, pretty plasticky. Ooh, bummer. Micro USB charger. I mean, but it, I mean, it looks kind of cool. Does come with some different size attachments. Looks like we go up to a four millimeter. 1.5, 2, 3, and four millimeter. As well as the micro USB charger. So I'm kind of hit or miss on a box like this. I mean, it's neat, but in the end, it is kind of a lot of throwaway junk. So, Cheap gift box, sure, but it's also kind of throwaway stuff in general. The watch is probably the nicest part, and it is, don't get me wrong, it's a very cheap watch, not a fancy watch. All right, we'll test it out. I mean, it works. It works about as you would expect. It's plastic, it does have a built-in battery, it's rechargeable, so it has some positives. It's got kind of a neat actuation on it. You can see this thing right here spin when, when it's going. 
Now, for the update on these shoes, these are the ones I've also been wearing as well. Uh, I put these on after the first half of the video and I've been wearing them this whole time. These are actually really comfortable. They're nice to walk in outside. They have a very strong bottom. They are pretty comfortable. They feel supportive enough. Uh, I kind of forgot I was wearing them. Keeping my feet warm, no big deal. So these ones here, yeah, I would recommend those. They're pretty cool. They're comfortable, they're cool. They go on really easy. Don't gotta worry about tying them up. Actually, I, did, I didn't even tighten this. I just slipped them on and they didn't feel like they were gonna fall off at all. So if you guys wanna see any more hauls like this with the clothing, uh, let me know. We'll check it out. If you guys wanna see more of the, the gift box type stuff, let me know. We do have a video coming out, hopefully next week. Uh, let's just say I'm trying my hand at some metal work. We bought a $300 smelter from Timu, as well as a bunch of raw materials from copper to brass to silver to melt and try to make our own stuff with. So I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys swing in for that. Make sure to like, subscribe, maybe throw a share out there. All right, appreciate you guys, and we will see you on the next one.